Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the calibration processes with PrimeScan. In this video, we will first demonstrate the scanner calibration, then the color calibration. We will show you how to start the workflow in the software and how it proceeds. For both calibration processes, you can use the supplied calibration sets shown here. On the left is the 3D calibration set, which calibrates the scanner performance. On the right, we have the color calibration set for performing a color analysis. PrimeScan is factory calibrated. The scanner should be recalibrated following every reinstallation and every transport. Thereafter, it is recommended to perform a calibration once a month. There are several other reasons why recalibrating is necessary. For example, following shaking stress during transport, after storage in spaces that are not heated or air-conditioned, with temperature differences of more than 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the event of scanning errors. We are on the CEREC software start page. From here, we open the system menu. We click on Configuration, Devices, and select our Prime Scan. When the sub-menu is displayed, you can select the Calibrate option from the Step menu. The scanner then automatically initiates a 30-second warm-up. After the warm-up is complete, an image showing how to attach the calibration tube appears. Alternatively, the positioning shown to the right can be applied. First, ensure that the external calibration set screw is fully screwed in with a clockwise motion until it gently locks into place. Before doing this, the scanner should be wiped disinfected. Remove the protective cap, assemble the tube as shown, and hold the scanner and calibration set using one hand, ensuring there is no change in the position of the set throughout the entire process. The preview window now shows the calibration pattern, and we click OK. Let's take a look at a short video recording of how the process works. Software automatically prompts you to turn the screw counterclockwise until you reach the next latching point. Perform this step 17 times without removing the scanner from the calibration set or moving it inside the tube. Once all 17 steps have been successfully completed, the software will prompt you to remove the tube and to mount the bottom side of the calibration set to the tip of the scanner. This measures the position of the exit window. Now, once again, a short video that illustrates this process. The measuring only takes a few seconds. Once the scanner stops scanning, the calibration set can be removed. While the calibration is being calculated, the scanner can be placed back in the tray. The calibration data is then recorded to the scanner, and we confirm with OK. A color calibration may only be performed at least 20 minutes after system start. Color calibration must be done on a regular basis. The recommended time is every two weeks. A color calibration should also be performed after changing a sleeve. A color analysis can only be carried out using the stainless steel sleeve with sapphire glass, not with a disposable sleeve. A heavily scratched sleeve window can also no longer be used for a color analysis. The color calibration set must be stored within its packaging in a dry place protected from light. The scanner must be wipe disinfected prior to the color calibration, as the color calibration set itself may not be disinfected. If dust accumulates on the inside of the color calibration set, gently remove it using compressed air. Note that the color calibration set may only be used for a maximum of two years. The expiration date can be found on the bottom of its container. After opening the container, the set can be used for one year. Use a waterproof pen to write the opening date on the lid of the container after opened on. 
To perform a color analysis, we must first activate this function. We go back to the System menu under Configuration, into the sub-menu Devices, select Prime Scan, and then place a check mark at Shade Detection. After we confirm with OK, the step Color Calibration is activated and we can select it. A new window will open. The calibration set number at the top helps to identify whether or not this is the set that is currently in use. If color calibration needs to be performed with a new set, click the Change Calibration Set button. Next, the QR code of the color calibration set must be scanned. The QR code is scanned immediately, and you can begin the color calibration. To do so, mount the color calibration set on the tip of the scanner as shown in the illustration. Then click OK. Let us take a look at a short demonstration video now. At the top of the screen, the progress of the calibration is displayed. Once the process is complete, a message appears and you can remove the set. We confirm with OK and exit the system menu. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.